What's good, A1 gang? How to grow your YouTube channel. So I've been taking notes, documenting some things along my journey that I feel have been helping me. So I'm going to just share those with y'all. And I'm going to be looking to the side over here because I got my notes right here. So if y'all want, take a piece of paper, pen, and write these things down. It's 10 tips for y'all. So my first tip is to pick a niche. Find something that you could produce a lot of content around, something that you generally will find interest in, you know, so you won't get bored with it so soon and something that also you feel you can provide, you know, some type of value to people by putting that content out there. My second tip is to find a unique selling point. You want to have something unique about yourself that you can put out there in your videos to make people want to watch you in the first place. So you could think either I'll be informative or I'll be entertaining. That's the two ways I look at it. Most people, when they're watching YouTube, they're there for those two reasons. So either they want to be entertained or they're there to learn something. So they want to be informed on something. So you can figure out, uh, will my videos be entertaining? Will they be informative? Or will I try to do a mixture of both? Tip three, this is a cheat code that I feel almost, if y'all listen to this, I, I I don't know yet. I'm waiting on y'all to, to show me and let me know. But I'm pretty sure if y'all drop 12 videos a day using the rest of these tips that I'm going to give y'all, I guarantee you within your first 10 days, you'll have 100 subscribers. I guarantee you. Now, don't quote me, but I'm just saying, okay, my fourth tip is to make sure all your videos are SEO friendly. If you don't know what SEO means, the SEO stands for search engine optimization. What that is, is making your videos easier to, for search engines to find. Now, YouTube is a search engine. It's the second largest search engine owned by the largest search engine, which is Google. So when you use keywords or uh, like search terms that you type into the search bar, those using those in the description and in the tagging section of the video will help people find your video by those keywords. So let's say, for instance, your video is about how to fix cars or something like that keywords you would use how to fix a car uh how to fix a car in 2018 how to fix uh or how to change this on a car or how to fix this on a car how to fix that on a car you know just different variations of the keyword that you're targeting for so make sure you trying to do that and if you don't understand what i mean go check out some videos on it watch like two to three videos on search engine optimization so you get a better understanding okay my fifth tip is to use call to actions a call to action is you basically telling your viewers through your video something to do. So let's say if you want them to subscribe to your channel, which is the goal of this video is to get your first hundred subscribers. So in each of your videos, you should be telling them or asking your subscribers like, hey, if y'all like what I'm doing, hit the subscribe button. A lot of people feel, you know, kind of indifferent about this. Some people feel you shouldn't ask people to subscribe, that people will just subscribe if they want to. But trust me don't feel that way i had you know a lot of my subscribers that only subscribed after i you know engaged with them through a message letting them know like hey make sure you hit the subscribe button so don't feel bad by asking your viewers to subscribe so using call to action brings me into my sixth tip i believe which is engaging with your audience so you want to make sure you're engaging with your audience as much as possible so every time you put up a video somebody comments on the video make sure you like the comment uh, heart the comment make sure you reply to the comment also in those comments use those comments as an opportunity to use another call to action so as you're replying to a comment you can say let's say somebody says uh hey i like the video say hey thanks for your support please make sure you subscribe or let's say they give you a request like hey i want to see this type of video you can say okay thank you i'll put the video up soon please make sure you subscribe so you don't miss the video my seventh tip to grow your first 100 subscribers is to take requests from your audience. So when you're recording one video, make sure in the beginning or at the end of the video, you let your audience know that you're taking requests and ask them to request whatever it is that they want to see next. This will help you make sure that you're providing the content that people actually want to see versus what you think people want to see. Okay, my eighth tip is to build a community. Think of ways to get your viewers involved and feeling a part of something so what a lot of youtubers do is they create like a family or a team or some type of team name for their subscribers like mine would be considered a one gang that's what i like to call my subscribers just my youtube family think of something that you can call your subscribers that people will feel a part of something when they come so that way you know it it makes them feel different 
from just another YouTuber that watching. They actually feel like a part of your channel. Tip nine, produce content that is already being searched for. That's very important if you want to get content that's picking up a lot of views, especially in the beginning. You want to make sure that you know the content that you're producing is fresh content or content that you can do. You can do keyword research to see how relevant the keywords you plan on using for your video are. This will help you know whether or not the video you're planning on putting out will do good or not. My 10th tip is to find an efficient way to produce content. So you want to find an easy way to record your videos, an easy way to edit your videos. You want to have a, a location that's already stationary where you don't have to set up every time. You can just go sit down right to when everything's already ready to go. Also, another thing you want to keep in mind is when you're recording, less mistakes equal less editing time. So you know, some videos you might be able to do one take depending on the type of content you're doing. And that'll help you drop more videos at a faster rate. So this is my first video like this, you know, trying to share some of this information with y'all. Let me know what y'all think. Also, if it's something I missed, drop it in the comment section. If it's something that you feel would also help. Y'all got tips, add them in the comment section. Let me know if it's other videos like this y'all want me to get to. I can give y'all some insight on other things on YouTube as I just started my journey. And let y'all know the things I'm, I guess, going through while trying to start a YouTube. Let me know. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, follow me on Instagram, and stay down. Come up underscore December. A1 Gang, we out.